A pollutant is a substance or energy introduced into the environment that has undesired effects, or adversely affects the usefulness of a resource. A pollutant may cause long or short-term damage by changing the growth rate of plant or animal species, or by interfering with human amenities, comfort, health, or property values. Some pollutants are biodegradable and therefore will not persist in the environment in the long term. However, the degradation products of some pollutants are themselves polluting such as the products DDE and DDD produced from the degradation of DDT. Pollutants are the materials or factor, which cause adverse effect on the natural quality of any component of the of the environment, for example, smoke from industries and automobiles, chemicals from factories, radioactive substances from nuclear plants, sewage of houses and discarded household articles are the common pollutant. Topic. Different types of pollutants in nature Topic. Stock pollutants Pollutants, towards which the environment has low absorptive capacity are called stock pollutants. E.g. persistent organic pollutants such as PCBs, non-biodegradable plastics and heavy metals. Stock pollutants accumulate in the environment over time. The damage they cause increases as more pollutant is emitted, and persists as the pollutant accumulates. Stock pollutants can create a burden for the future generations, bypassing on the damage that persists well after the benefits received from incurring that damage, have been forgotten. Notable pollutants. Notable pollutants include the following groups or compounds Mercury Hg Persistent organic pollutants POPs Ozone Ozone Particulate matter PM Environmental persistent pharmaceutical pollutants EPPP Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PAHs Volatile organic compounds VOX Topic. Fund pollutants Fund pollutants are those for which the environment has the moderate absorptive capacity. Fund pollutants do not cause damage to the environment unless the emission rate exceeds the receiving environment's absorptive capacity e.g. carbon dioxide, which is absorbed by plants and oceans. Fund pollutants are not destroyed, but rather converted into less harmful substances, or diluted, dispersed to non-harmful concentrations. Light pollutant Light pollution is the impact that anthropogenic light has on the visibility of the night sky. It also encompasses ecological light pollution which describes the effect of artificial light on individual organisms and on the structure of ecosystems as a whole. Primary pollutants Pollutants which are emitted directly to the environment are called primary pollutants. <laughs> Zones of influence Pollutants can also be defined by their zones of influence, both horizontally and vertically. Topic: Horizontal zone. The horizontal zone refers to the area that is damaged by a pollutant. Local pollutants cause damage near the emission source. Regional pollutants cause damage further from the emission source. Topic. Vertical zone The vertical zone refers to whether the damage is ground level or atmospheric. Surface pollutants cause damage by accumulating near the Earth's surface. Global pollutants cause damage by concentrating on the atmosphere. Topic. Regulation
Topic: International Pollutants can cross international borders and therefore international regulations are needed for their control. The Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, which entered into force in 2004, is an international legally binding agreement for the control of persistent organic pollutants. Pollutant Release and Transfer Registers PRTR are systems to collect and disseminate information on environmental releases and transfers of toxic chemicals from industrial and other facilities. Topic: <laughs> European Union The European Pollutant Emission Register is a type of PRTR providing access to information on the annual emissions of industrial facilities in the member states of the European Union, as well as Norway. <laughs> United States Clean Air Act Standards under the Clean Air Act, the National Ambient Air Quality Standards NAAQS are developed by the Environmental Protection Agency EPA for six common air pollutants, also called criteria pollutants, particulates, smog and ground-level ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, and lead. The national emission standards for hazardous air pollutants are additional emission standards that are set by EPA for toxic air pollutants, Clean Water Act standards. Under the Clean Water Act, EPA promulgated national standards for municipal sewage treatment plants, also called publicly owned treatment works. In the secondary treatment regulation, national standards for industrial dischargers are called effluent guidelines for existing sources and new source performance standards, and currently cover over 50 industrial categories. In addition, the Act requires states to publish water quality standards for individual water bodies to provide additional protection where the national standards are insufficient, RCRA standards. The Resource Conservation and Recovery Act RCRA regulates the management, transport and disposal of municipal solid waste, hazardous waste and underground storage tanks. See also Conventional Pollutant, U.S. Clean Water Act List of environmental issues Pollutant Standards Index Pollution <laughs>